Hey everyone, Dave Anderson here, Helicools Helipad. I've got other projects I'd really like to get started, but had this happen to me last night. So I've actually replaced the mechanisms inside both of the doors because it had a little plastic clip and over time that plastic clip will just break off. Another German engineering that uh, kind of has gone wrong. And I had to replace the whole interior of the of the door to enable the window to go back up and down again. I did that about two years ago. Now last night, as I was driving down the road, it was a little bit warm in the car, I let the window down a little bit, and all of a sudden it just stopped. And eventually, the window just fell down due to gravity. Handy dandy set of star wrenches this is what you're gonna need all right you first want to start by taking this off gently get a screwdriver back behind there there we go that reveals the two bolts that are in here phillips head screwdriver All right, this size is a T15. Now be careful because these bolts will fall out of there. There's just one did. Just make sure there isn't in tall grass where you can't find it. Now I'm going to have to unplug all of these leads, electrical leads, and there's several of them. All right, now that you have all of the connectors, including for the door handle. Remove, go ahead and just place this off to the side where it's not gonna get broken. All right, now I have to remove all of these. These are a T30. I'm gonna do it the little bit quicker way. All right, now that I've gotten this far, I want to remove all of the wires that are coming from this harness onto this piece here. I need to figure out a way to get this window at least partially back up and maybe I can hold it with some duct tape until I can remove this. So the window needs to be at least halfway up to get this door out. So let me get, uh, let me figure that out, get some duct tape get that window up. Okay, there's something else bound up in here because I wanted it to, to get at least the window up to this point where I could release the window and, and I think what happened is is maybe one side bound up I'm really not even sure because the window just fell so it looks like I'm gonna have to go ahead and remove the motor so that I can get the window up a little further then I can disconnect it through these two uh, portholes right here yeah something you can tell something screwed up there there's that cable should not should not be like that. So there's more going on here than meets the eye. We'll figure it out. Oh there. All right, that is what I wanted to expose so that I can Pull this thing off of 
the window. That's what's actually holding the window. There's another one right here. What do German engineers like the most? 10 millimeter. It's not. I think the problem is right here. Number one, that's not supposed to be jammed up in there like that. That blue part is just to hold right there. Cable goes around that and into this piece. Check this out. Okay, so it goes right there. You see there's a little chunk of of plastic missing from there. I found this in the door. Yeah, that little piece, tiny as it is, pulled loose. And that's what caused this whole thing to just unravel. It's supposed to go right inside there. Through much trial and tribulation, I finally got this peg off of in here that was jammed up inside that little point. I've got it put over to here where it's supposed to be. A little piece of plastic broke off. You know, I'm gonna try something, maybe a little bit redneck, but I'm gonna JB weld this closed and this closed, and hopefully it'll hold this plastic together so that it will last a few more years. Once again, I did replace this whole thing at one time. It's only been about two years ago to have that little tiny piece of plastic pull out that that very well upsets me and i don't want to have to buy another one just because of that no all right jb weld is in i went ahead and pulled the other side jb weld is uh it's not the greatest but it i think is going to work pretty good for this application all right, there's one more thing that you got to check out before you can call it good to go. Go ahead and remove. This is the motor. Okay. And this is another plastic gear, another weak point. So if your cable is messed up like this one is, um, it's going to be very difficult to get this back together you know i i pulled this apart i looked at it i'm like well i might be able to and then i started inspecting this plastic these grooves in here and when this thing came undone it just really trashed this track and this is you know all the work that we did here it, it's it's trashed I have to replace this. This is this is garbage. Um, and this cable is really kind of messed up. I don't think that I'm going to be able to salvage this cable because it doesn't even... I mean, it wants to fit in the track a little bit, but I don't think that it's going to be... Yeah, see, this, this track is messed up. Well, if you don't have access to a junkyard or... A parts car like I do you're gonna have to buy unfortunately that whole new set to put in um, they're relatively easy to install it's it's a no-brainer I'll kind of walk you through it but first I gotta finish grabbing this panel out of this spare parts bug So if you have to end up buying a new set, it comes with with these, the cables, it came, comes with this back part here. Um, what you'll have to do, you can see that this is not a bolt. These are, these are rivets. So what you're going to have to do is drill those rivets out and you replace them with the bolts that, that come with the new rails. Okay, so that's really what it looks like. Um, and it's pretty easy to install. You just, uh, you know, bolt these in, one this side, one this side, 
And of course, uh, this is pretty self-explanatory where it goes. I need to do this fairly quickly because this window has already kind of fallen all the way down inside here. And check this out. Where'd he go? The dang cat has decided that this is his new place that he can hang out in the back window and get all nice and warm. Jacob, you are rotten. You are rotten, Jacob. You need to stay out of my car. So I'm going to push it down to here so that it is in line so I can loosen up or tighten. Loosen these up so that the window will slide in there and then I can uh, um, tighten them up once the window is secured and that will clamp down on the window. And also what I need to do is I need to pop these out there is where I want to JB weld I want to JB weld that real quick get these back around slid back in uh, I think that will about do it, I can put this one back together. Just a word of caution, don't allow this to pop out of there because this will unspool and this will be an incredible pain in the rear to get all of this put back together and tight because yes, it is pretty tight. Now it is ready to go back on. The motor is put back into place. I have both of these access points available to that screw. So now's the time to put this back in and put the window back on, clamp the window into position. All right, time to test it out. Looking pretty nice. Well, hey guys, I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, finally getting this bug fixed. Uh, the window is working really nice now. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes you just get lucky and sometimes now nah, got to change the whole doggone thing and i hate plastic parts i hope you have an easy time changing out your power window mechanism until next time i'm dave anderson signing out you guys be safe out there and god bless